Carmel Jazz Fest kicking off next week. And you can't have a festival without food. That's where the downtown farm stand second story lounge comes to play. Uh, guys, thank you, everybody, for being here. We appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having a us. packed house because it's so much fun coming up. I want to start with you, Dave and Sarah. You guys started this. What led you to start doing this? Uh, really just our love of serving good food and, and good drinks to people and making their lives a little happier and a little better. We were organic farmers um, from 2000 to 2008. We opened the farm stand and ran an organic grocery store for 17 years and um, moved into the second story lounge last year. And so we're able to, to cater and do um, barbecue and serve people all, you know, just about anywhere. And it's a lot of fun. We're going to make a cocktail that you guys are going to serve here in, in just a minute. But, Blair, I want to talk to you because the, the Jazz Fest is coming up next week. I know you, you guys have put in so much work yes. into making. The first one is always the hardest, right? Because That's you've got to set the out. bar. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How important was it to get them on board as, as one of those, those vendors to help bring all that together with the food? It's very important because, um, and just Caking It will be there as yeah. well. But yeah, it's great because we, we want, they, we like that organic feel, that, that uh, you know, natural thing, and that's great. And, and we just, you know, come up with some great partners to be able to donate their food and not donate. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. You'd like it that way, right? Yeah. Yeah. Give um, us your food. Yeah. The Farm Skin Second Story Lounge brings a cool aspect with the uh, connection to the local organic farmers. Sure. In Indiana, Dave and Sarah being one of them, and then amazing food from like sustainable food systems. Yeah, yeah. All right, Dave, I, I've been sitting here smelling. Waiting <laughs> <laughs> to be made. Let, let's jump into it. What are we making today? All right, so we're making a bourbon lemonade. Deal. And we've made a simple, <laughs> simple syrup with okay. local honey and mint. Okay. So, so what goes into this? It's going to be. So I've got I've got a, a Russell's Reserve ten year okay. bourbon. And it's a little bit higher proof, so you go. It's really easy recipe. You go ounce and a half of bourbon. Okay. Ounce and a half of fresh squeezed organic lemon juice. Perfect. And then an ounce and a half of the syrup, which is uh, easy to make at home. It's a cup of honey <laughs> to a half a cup of water, and mint. Mm. Well, while you're working, and then on a this, little bit of water. Blair, for you guys, and, and and Heather, you guys were just talking about this a little bit, but the importance of it would be really easy for you to have not so local vendors there, right, for, for justice. That would have been the right. easy way right. to go, but you wanted it to have this feel. Why was that, that you wanted it to feel organic and, and local all at the same time as big and fun? Well, I'll let Bring Heather speak to, to that. Yes. I'll let Heather Bring speak to, to that. Yeah, Back right. to our roots, connect <laughs> with our local food systems. That's near and dear to my heart. I love the farm stand. They're very cool people. They've got a very cool venue in Muncie. And amazing food. I'm a huge fan of their nachos. I live off of them. Well, we're, yeah, we're going to make it to the nachos here in just a second because yeah. they've had my eye, too. Yeah. And, I, and I think it's very important for, for a, a jazz festival to not only uh, spotlight uh, international you know, headliners or, and regional, mm -hmm. but local artists and local food vendors because we want to bring both together. It's about international, regional, local on all of those levels, and, and the team has been able to put that together and really excited about it. Yeah. Dave, for you guys, how excited are you to be a part of this this first one? I mean, you oh. guys worked so hard to <laughs> do this great. on your own, but then to be part of something that's big like that. It's a great opportunity, and yeah. we're really excited to be a part of it. We're really grateful for, for all the work that's put in and all the organization, and um, we, we're just excited to be there and serve people. Okay, I'm going to taste this. What is what are what do we have over here? Because I see the nachos, I see a dip. What what is happening? So here? this is our pulled pork nachos, and we uh, fry the. It's fantastic. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> I want to interject that. Does anybody else want to try? I'm good. If okay. not, I'll take two. <laughs> right. Pulled pork nachos, uh, fresh made queso. We fry the chips up from tortillas. I will definitely. A lot of organic those. toppings, crema. And then we top it off with a little, it's going to be on our pulled pork as well, which is a, it's a blueberry red wine vinegar barbecue sauce. Mm. Oh, and those so are good. Local, <laughs> blueberry, delicious. local organic blueberries <laughs> from uh, Mishawaka, the blueberry ranch. Thank, Thank you. So. Blueberry, local Indiana blueberry farm. No, I'll lick my fingers. I'm and what about this the dip delicious. over here? So the dip is uh, goat cheese, heirloom tomato, basil. Thanks, Blair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's a uh, kind of a little take on the um, one of the sandwiches that we'll be offering to okay. vegetarians and vegans yeah. at yeah. the uh, As I break that. Sorry about that. Something no, for don't everybody. Be. 
And then All you've right. got a blueberry crisp, which are local blueberries, and then a house-made whipped cream on top. Now can I reach? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I want that. I was waiting for the nice. announcement. That is Thank fantastic. You. Thank you both so much. Thank you all for coming on. It's going to be so much fun at the inaugural Jazz Fest.